guys welcome back to my channel my name is cassie if you're new and if you're not welcome back to another video welcome back to another weekly vlog i think i'm gonna do another week in my life probably monday tuesday wednesday thursday because i usually upload on fridays it's monday morning right now and i just did my morning routine i just made my bed i journaled this morning i had my greens i had my coffee lots of water and then some pre-workout toast and now i'm getting ready to go to the gym to do a lower body workout and I'm excited. It feels good to have like a fresh new week. I feel like last Monday was like the first day of the new year, first Monday. And it feels good to kind of like be back into a routine. So anyways, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Putting on my socks right now. And then we're going to head out the door. Like I said, we're doing lower body today at the gym. I usually do lower body Mondays, upper body Tuesdays. And then Wednesday, I do a 45 cardio. Thursday, I take off. Friday... 45 hybrid and then saturday spin and then sunday off that's kind of like my workout split right now but i'm gonna put on my i'm gonna put on this lulu jacket and then we'll head out my outfit today is all lulu i have this align tank on it's like the crop one i got it in my last video with a gift card that i had to lulu and then i just have the wonder under leggings on and then this scuba full zip hoodie <music> I just got ready for the day kind of just put on like a sweatshirt and leggings and I took a shower and my hair is wet but I'm gonna run to Whole Foods really quick and then I'm gonna go to my parents for the day I need to do some work over there and I'm just gonna go to sleep with my family um, and then I'll come back and have the rest of the night at home workout was so good I made a smoothie I put a banana berries athletic greens to my greens powder almond butter what else did I do? Almond milk and water. And it was super, super good. I think I'm going to try to get like mango and pineapple because I feel like that'd be really good with the greens instead of berries. Like I liked the berries, but I feel like a tropical flavor would be really good with greens. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, we're going to head out and then we'll go and do some work over there. Got all that dash in. He just went outside and we'll go to Whole Foods. <laughs> cereal is the best. It's purely Elizabeth. It's so good. I'll show you guys what I got at Whole Foods. I ended up going earlier and I got some stuff for my parents house and then some stuff for home. So this is not everything I bought but this is everything I bought for our house. They're having a popcorn sale. Two for six. Uh, my favorite brand, Lesser Evil. So I got two of the pink salt and two of the no cheese cheesy. My favorite. I don't need to explain more. You guys know. And then I got this purely Elizabeth cereal. It's like a superfood cereal and it's vanilla blueberry almond. It's so good. I already opened that one in the car. It's literally the best cereal and it has the best ingredients. It's really, really good. You can't tell, but I love purely Elizabeth. And then I got some simple mills, rosemary and sea salt crackers. Those are good for hummus, some avocado oil. 
These things I picked up because Wegmans doesn't really have a lot of these brands or they just like don't have these specific things. So Primal Kitchen's my favorite sauce company. I got the classic barbecue and then two of the no soy teriyaki. This is like my favorite soy sauce to make on salmon or on my lettuce wraps. And then this yellow bird hot sauce. It's blue agave sriracha. I don't know why it's not focusing ever, but it is the best hot sauce. So my Wegmans doesn't really have any of this besides that popcorn and those crackers. That's why I got it. And then two Smart Sweets Jolly Gems. These are so good. They're like hard candy. And then the lollipops. I just made some dinner. I just air fried a piece of cod with fresh garlic, salt and pepper, and then Parmesan cheese. And then I made this little mixture. It's broccolini, farro, kale, and white onion with some garlic and olive oil. Diash, why are you whining? Why are you whining, buddy? So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna sit on the couch and probably watch some YouTube. And yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Tuesday. I just finished up a really good F45, or not F45. I just finished up a really good Jada Blitz workout. I did a upper body workout and it was there for like an hour. I got up earlier today and it feels good to kind of get back into like my early morning workouts because I actually have a hair appointment in about an hour. So great workout to start the day. I didn't do any of my journaling or like reading this morning just because I got right up and went to the gym. So I'll probably do that after my haircut, but I'm excited to get my haircut. And real quick, I'm gonna run to the store. I'm driving. I'm gonna run to the store because I really wanna make another smoothie, but I wanna do more of like a tropical one. Whereas yesterday I did more of like a berry one with the greens powder. And I feel like a tropical coconut water greens protein smoothie would be really good. So, let's go in Wegmans, Matthew's calling me. So, talk to you guys later. I'm gonna make my smoothie and take you guys along with me and show you everything I'm putting in it. So, starting off with half a banana. Put that in there. And then also, I'm gonna put some ice in. The banana 
is frozen. And I love using my bananas and putting in the smoothies just because it makes it so creamy. And then at the store, I got some mango and then I also got some pineapple. So we'll do just a little bit of pineapple. Typically when I make smoothies, I do opt for berries just because they're a little bit lower in sugar and they don't spike your blood sugar as much. But if you add a healthy fat, it can help like counteract that. So I'm gonna add healthy fat for sure. So we'll just do a little bit of mango and pineapple. Add a ton. And then let's do powders wise we're gonna do some ag1 so i love athletic greens i have these little travel packs and these are amazing basically it's 75 minerals and vitamins there's probiotics there's also all whole food ingredients so there's like no funky fillers or anything um and i love it it's just like one scoop or one packet of daily nutrition for the whole day and i've been using this a ton it's really good to have on an empty stomach but it's great also in a smoothie. So I've been doing a little bit of both, but I've really been enjoying it in a smoothie recently. And it helps support gut health, immunity health. It helps just feel like you have more energy throughout the day, like you don't have a crash. And I've been loving it. I feel like it's done really great things for my gut health. So we're gonna put that in there. Put one in there. But it does taste really good on its own. It's very subtle. And then we're gonna do some coconut water for the liquid. Sometimes I would do almond butter, or I'm sorry, almond milk, but I feel like coconut water will be a little bit better for like the tropical fruits and make it more hydrating. We're gonna do some almond butter, and then we're gonna also do some protein, of course. This is the vanilla or gain protein because I just had a tough workout, so I need to make sure I'm getting in protein. And then you also wanna add in a healthy source of fat which is this almond butter. It'll help keep me fuller for longer, but also it's great to pair like any sort of sugar, which obviously the fruit is natural sugar, with um, a fat. So, got a scoop of that. And then let's put in coconut water just so the powders don't stick. It's gonna make it super hydrating. And then we will do some protein. I'm gonna do a scoop and a half. One scoop of this protein is 21 grams. And I like to get a lot of protein in in the morning. So we'll do a scoop and a half. And then we'll blitz it up. I might add a little bit more ice. I like my smoothies really icy. Did I just get liquid on me <laughs> now I'm gonna go get my hair cut so I'm gonna bring it on the go I have this little travel cup I got an iced coffee a few days ago and I just brought it home and thought I could reuse it so here's how it turned out really good color oh my god and it fits literally perfectly in this cup I love it perfect Put the lid on, we'll put a straw in, and we'll take it on the go for my haircut. I'm obsessed with the color. Perfect. I just pulled up to my hair appointment. I kind of just like flicked my hair back because it's just dirty. It needs to be washed. So that's that. Drinking my smoothie. My cousin does my hair. So I have been going to her for years. Oh, she's actually right here pulling up. I think today I'm gonna get um, layers. I always get like an inch or two off and then some layers. So we're gonna do that. I haven't gotten my hair cut in like maybe two months so I definitely need a good trim. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, I can tell you what seats I am. Let me look up my flight confirmation. So did you get the same flight there, but then the different flight home? Yes. Okay. So you'll do the 6 a.m. I have a feeling Skylar will probably fly out early because of the baby. So yes. you could probably take an Uber with her. Oh, she comes from Chester? Skylar's going to fly from Rochester, yeah. But I feel like she'll go out like really early that day. So you might not have to Uber. 96 days from departure. I know. The countdown begins. I'm so okay. excited. So from, I, do you have everything up? Yeah, I do. The car is at 6.45 a.m. Arrives at 8.51 a.m. I'm seat 22D. Okay, I'm 22C. Okay, because you're in the aisle and, and everyone next to you was full, so we're in the aisles together, though. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Alex and Chelsea are next to me. Okay, and then I'm 24D. Okay, I'm 24C. Okay. Perfect. And I literally have you guys balancing on my Stanley Cup right now as my tripod, so there's that. This is how my hair turned out. I didn't really show, but I got an inch and a half off and then I got layers and she blew it out, which was really nice because that way my hair is already done for dinner tonight. And I really like how it turned out. I think what I'm gonna do is I had this haircut today, obviously, which is January 10th. And then I have one more scheduled for, I think April, right before I go on my bachelorette. And then our wedding isn't until July. So I might need another trim before then, I'm not sure. I know the way that I am doing on my, my hair on the wedding day, it needs to be long. So I want it a lot longer than it is right now. So I definitely want to be like growing my hair out for the wedding, but I'm trying to space it so that my hair is like still feels fresh and like doesn't feel like I need a trim day of wedding. So I might get my hair cut once more, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. But the good thing is my cousin who does my hair is also doing my wedding hair and she's going to be there the day of doing all my bridesmaids hair. And so, yeah, she is great. And her daughter's in my wedding, my cousin. So... The good thing is I'll have my hair girl with me the whole time. And I think I might have her do my hair too for the bridal shower. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be wanting to do my hair that morning. I feel like I'm going to be stressed. So, yeah, so that was good. And then I came back and I've just been working. And my friend Caitlin called me because she booked her flights to The Bachelorette. So I was talking to her about seats and all that. I think I filmed a little bit. And then tonight we're going to dinner with my family because my dad's birthday today. So we're going to an Italian restaurant. And then before that, I'm getting my nails done because I got gel and honestly, my nails are fine right now. Like I really don't need them done, but I got gel and this is like why I don't get gel because it just peels and it's so annoying. And I wash my hands all the time and I'm always doing dishes or like something with my hands. And I just like, don't think I'll get gel again. It's just annoying. I feel like I'm in the shower and I'm going like this and it's like running through my hair and it's just obnoxious it's not like that bad but i don't know i guess i could go a little longer it just bothers me when like the hair starts to get underneath the gel it's like annoying so i'm gonna go there quickly um before dinner because dinner i don't think is until like 7 7 15 so it's kind of late i just made a little bit of lunch i had some eggs and toast i didn't film it but i had breakfast and then i had the smoothie and i'm just having like this little bowl it's kind of like what i made for dinner last night but i have some chicken and broccolini farro and onions i just pulled up to a coffee shop i'm gonna go into overwinter coffee on main street and i'm gonna get my dad some coffee for his birthday he loves it and i have like half of his gift done but i need to get the rest so i thought coffee would be good because it's something he drinks every morning and i feel like he appreciates like a good coffee i'm not putting enough on this so i'm gonna get that it's a really cute one and then after that, I have to run a few more errands and then I'm gonna go get my nails done. And yeah, I had a productive day. appointment I ended up getting this like pinky nude color I really like how it turned out and I am literally starving so I just made peanut butter toast I am obsessed and in love with peanut butter toast like a piece of toast with peanut butter cinnamon honey and blueberries like there's literally nothing better and I've also been snacking some of the purely Elizabeth vanilla blueberry almond cereal and it's so good but like 
I don't know. I, I make this in literally every vlog because it's just so good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting ready to go to dinner right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear my hair up or down. I think I might keep it up with this long sleeve shirt that I have on, but I haven't like fully decided. I might keep it up. But we're going to Mulberry's for my dad's birthday, and I'm just so excited. It feels good to celebrate my dad. He's like one of those people that everybody loves like there is nobody in the world i feel like that doesn't like my dad he's just somebody that everybody loves and like has such a fun time around and he just makes everybody laugh and smile and i'm excited to celebrate him tonight both my parents are like that honestly if you guys knew them they're just like people that everybody loves and they're just the best so I'm excited to celebrate tonight and I was at my appointment getting my nails done and I was listening to a podcast from Ed Milat and I just have been feeling like I've been doing so much personal development this new year and I felt like at the end of 2022 and just like December in general and maybe a little bit of November, I just felt like I got lost in like the hustle and bustle of like the holidays and just like some personal stuff that's been going on in my life that I stopped listening to podcasts and like I wasn't doing my personal development and like I could totally tell in my mindset and as you guys have been seeing in the vlogs like I've been really trying to read and journal and be super strict with those things in the morning because they just make me feel so much better I'm gonna try to do my makeup while I'm talking to you but this is the Ilia mascara I got it in a Sephora box like one of the free gifts but my point of saying this was I've really been getting back into my personal development and my habits that make me feel like the best version of myself. And no matter what that is for you, it doesn't have to be journaling. It doesn't have to be reading. It could be simply going on a walk. It could be working out. It could be anything that makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Try to just set aside 15 to 20 minutes a day to do that because in the morning, I feel like it's so easy to just like wake up and scroll on your phone and immediately be like reactive and like thinking about like your to-do list for the day or like a bill that you have to pay or, you know, responding to a text message and like constantly getting back to people. And when I would wake up that way, I just felt like I'd wake up frazzled and I'd wake up like in the past and I'd wake up feeling like my day was just chaotic and I had no control over my day at all. And the minute I started to take control of the first hour of my day, the rest of my day just felt like so much more at ease and grounded and that I was in control and I wasn't reactive. And it's just been the best. So that's something I've really been doing this month and really taking into the new year and just this year in general because I just lost a lot of those habits. Like, yes, I was still eating healthy. I was still like eating nutritionally dense foods. I was still working out. Like I was doing those things that are considered healthy, I guess. But health isn't just working out and eating well. It's also your mindset. It's like what you're consuming. It's the people that you're hanging around with. It's the thoughts that you tell yourself and like how you speak to yourself. It's so much more than just eating a salad and going to the gym, to be honest. And that's something that's really challenged me because I've had to take over control and be really mindful and it's just helped me so much and I felt like I was in such a rut for like two months and I know I keep saying I'm going to talk about it and I am going to talk about it in a little bit when I feel ready but I was just in a funk for a solid two months and I still kind of am in it I'm getting out of it and I know like really bright days are ahead and I feel a lot more hopeful than I once did I was just in such a funk and these little habits have really helped me to get out of that and to kind of get outside of myself because I feel like when it's just you and your mind and your thoughts all day like you can go crazy and these little things that have helped me to feel more grounded and more grateful and to get out of my own mind and my own head has helped so so much so I will link some of my favorite podcasts I always talk about Ed Milat's, but he's probably my favorite podcast host. I get so much value from his podcasts, and I just really, really value his content, and I really respect him as a creator and a motivator and just somebody who's like very influential and a mentor to me. I really respect his content. Um, I also like The Skinny Confidential. I think they have some really great content, like definitely educational and a lot of value, but also just like lifestyle and like sometimes you just want to like listen to people talk and I always get value from it but sometimes like with them I feel like I'm just talking to a friend whereas Ed Milet like really gives me like motivation and like 
life lessons and not that the skinny confidential doesn't it's just like two different podcasts but i love those two it just depends on the mood that i'm in those are probably my two top that i really love this mascara is really good i was using the thrive cosmetics one before and i like both but this one's really good love it so that's my inspiration for the day <laughs> okay See? when Matthew gets home it's 5 52 and he's not home yet you know he had a meeting at work and my parents are coming to get us at 6 15 so hopefully he's home in time I still need to wrap my dad's gift so we will do that also look at this I got this blood blister today at the gym and it hurt so bad my nail tech half was like what happened to your finger <laughs> like the gym a weight smacked on it and it really hurts also the weirdest thing my finger has been numb all day it's so strange right now it's not numb but this pointer finger where i have the blood blister has been numb for some reason all day and i don't know why i've been trying to research it i feel like i'm like a little worried because why the heck is my finger numb it's just my pointer finger like here down really strange like i said it's fine now but it's been numb all day so very weird okay outfit of the day i've got this zara shirt on long sleeve these aritzia pants they're the leather ones and then just like black boots and then my hair up in a pony and these chunky hoops from anna luisa two hair products i'm using right now this is from the brand way come on focus camera you can do it okay there we go this is the brand way and this is the brand living proof this is a flex hairspray and this is a texturizing spray i actually think my hair looks fine as is so i'm just gonna put a little bit of the texturizing spray in my pony to give it just a little something you can see it kind of gives me like some volume and then just a little bit of the flex hairspray these products also smell so good Amaze. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah, how cute is this? just on the couch doing our morning routine and I did my five minute journal this morning Hold on. did my five minute journal and then I read some of my book this is the genius foods book by Max Lugerbeer I've been reading this a little bit and I've been loving it before bed and then a little bit in the morning just a good way to kind of like start my day but I woke up so exhausted today. I don't know if it's because the last two days I've just had really intense weight workouts. Monday I did lower body like you guys saw and then went or Tuesday I did upper body and my body and my muscles are just exhausted. Like I woke up today so sore, so tired, so fatigued and I'm really trying to focus on working out like around my cycle and listening to my body and not just forcing a workout because this morning I was supposed to go to an F45 workout and Wednesdays are cardio so it's basically like hit it's high intensity interval training and it's just a lot of cardio and that is 
literally the opposite of what I need this morning. I feel like I need like slow. Hi. What? Come here. So I decided to listen to my body and I canceled the workout. I was supposed to go at seven and then I canceled that because we actually got home at like 11 last night because of dinner, which was so fun, by the way. That restaurant was so good. It was called Mulberry and it's an Italian restaurant in Buffalo. If you guys are local, it was so cute. They had like all these little things hanging from the ceiling for the holidays and it just felt like you were in Italy, like this little Italian village. It was so cute and so good. But it was like 45 minutes away. So by the time we got home and got into bed, it was like 11 o'clock. And if I go to bed late, which is not often, but if I do, it is what it is. I don't force myself to get up at like six in the morning like I normally do because I just can't burn the candle at both ends anymore. I've been in that situation where I have and then I'll wake up just exhausted and then I'll push myself through a workout and I'll be exhausted and then the whole day I'm just exhausted and it's just not good to do with your body. So because of that, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do the 7 a.m. workout. Maybe I'll do the 9 a.m. And then when I woke up today, I woke up around seven and I just am so sore for some reason. Like my muscles, my body hurts. And I did some different exercises at the gym on Monday for my like lower body so maybe that's why but anyways I'm listening to my body this morning and I'm not pushing it I'm not rushing it I do want to get some movement in today I don't know if I want to do yoga um, I'm not sure I haven't decided yet but I kind of want to do something I plan to take a rest day tomorrow which is Thursday so we'll see I might end up taking the rest day today and then working out Thursday I haven't decided yet but this is just a reminder to always listen to your body and how you're feeling and then i also woke up like absolutely starving and so thirsty so <laughs> i've just been honoring how i've been feeling this morning and just like relaxing and it's been really nice so i do have an appointment today at noon with the hematologist so if you guys watched my videos over the summer you would have seen that i <clears throat> kind of had like an episode in the summer where I passed out and like I had to go to the emergency room and I had all these tests taken and basically what came back is that I have really low white blood cell count so I think the average I don't know what the average is don't quote me on it but I'm like below average and I just run low with my white blood count so I go to the hematologist like every four to six months to get blood work and get my vitals checked and just to make sure everything is okay they're not sure if like when I did pass out if that has anything to do with the like cell count being low or if it's something else and the hematologist is never really worried because all my other vitals come back normal so it's just something that they monitor and they keep watching and you know I just get blood work every few months and just to kind of monitor it and make sure everything's okay so going to that appointment today at noon and I might work out before I might work out after I'm considering maybe doing like an evening workout. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Don't call me on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do today yet in terms of a workout, but I do a lot of work I need to get done. Today I got to edit a video. Um, I need to do some wedding stuff too. I have like this signage that I am reserving for the wedding, so I need to put the deposit down on that. And then what else for the wedding? I feel like some bachelorette stuff, so I just need to kind of get my life together today. But this is a reminder to always listen to your body and don't push yourself too much. Like, I'm definitely the type where, you know, if you need, like, a kick in the butt, 100%. Like, I love to be motivated. I love to, like, work out and get my stuff done in the morning. But there's other days where I know that, like, I really just need rest. And it's not me being lazy, but it's just, like, my body's, like, you need to rest. And that was this morning. Hi, Dash. Hi, buddy. Isn't he just, like, the cutest thing you've ever seen? Dash. <laughs> Hi. I had to call the vet yesterday because he's got these like tear stains right here on his eye. And this other eye, he doesn't have it. And I had to call the vet and see if we could get him some medicine. They recommended these supplements and then also some wipes. They're called like angel hair wipes because he's got like all these black things running down his eyes. You can see. And he never had that before. And I know sometimes like certain breeds just have that, but he's a Cavapoo and that isn't supposed to happen with his breed. So I called the vet to make sure everything was okay. And I got him some supplements and some wipes and we'll see if that works. And then if not, I'll take him to the vet. Um, but it's weird because he only has it on one eye and he's two and a half years old and he has never had it before. 
and I know like with Maltese's and a few other dogs like that's very common but it's not common for him from what I've read so I don't know we'll see hey buddy I'm about to cut up an apple and I just had to turn the camera on to show you guys something that I just found out that's literally disgusting so I found this out over on TikTok. This girl was cutting an apple and she took a knife and she went like this with the knife on the apple and look at all of the wax that comes off. Like, are you kidding me? Why is there wax on an apple? It's disgusting. I'm like, so this is what we're eating if we don't do this? Like, I don't know, I'm just like really surprised at how much wax is on here and really disappointed in our food system that there's wax on our apples that we're told to eat that are healthy but look at this knife like are you serious what the heck is that gross so friendly reminder make sure you're scrubbing off your apples before you go to town and eat it thinking you're being all healthy because there's wax all over it. <laughs> so bad. So bad. So I'm gonna cut up this apple and then I think I might just have a little bit of cereal, that purely Elizabeth cereal. I don't know why, but I've been like so not into eggs lately. I'm just like, oh, the thought of eggs makes me not wanna eat them. Oh, it does not sound appetizing whatsoever. So I think I'm gonna have this apple and then have some cereal. I also had a piece of toast already this morning, but I'm still hungry. I just went to a coffee shop and I worked there for a little bit and now I just got my appointment to go to get my blood work done so go on and do that hopefully I don't get queasy and pass out so I just signed up for a 4 30 yoga class I'm gonna take like an evening yoga class which is so unlike me but I feel like I want to move a little bit and then tomorrow I'll take rest day so I'm gonna wear this aloe set I got this for Christmas I can't remember what it's called but I'll link it down below and it's got like more of like a shiny material shiny like spandex material and it has the matching leggings these are brand new I just got these in the mail because they didn't come in time and then the this I got actually for Christmas, but it was supposed to come as a set, but these didn't come time. So I've worn this before, but I haven't worn the pants. So we'll see. I actually don't own any aloe leggings at all. I owned one pair, but then I sold them on Poshmark a few years ago. So we'll see how this fits. Actually fits really good. I like these. They're like high-waisted enough, but they're not too high-waisted. Like they're like a good length, and I feel like they're not going to fall down. And then here's what the side looks like. back again in the bathroom 
feel like I've been in the bathroom so much of this vlog. But you guys, that yoga class was so good. So good. Exactly what I needed. I tried to vlog a little bit to show you guys what the workout entailed, but it was tough because it was really dark in there and it was hard to see. But it was such a good workout. It felt so good to just like switch up my workout and do something a little bit more mindful and low impact and low intensity and just listen to my body and it was just so good. All my workouts, well, a lot of them, are very high intensity. And while I love that, I, I recognize that sometimes I need something a little slower and a little bit more focused on movement and like breath work and stretching and just like lower intensity. So it's not always like this high intensity, high impact, like high cortisol workout. So I love doing that. Um, I'd love to add one day a week of yoga into my routine. So I might do that, we'll see, but it was such a good workout. And then I came home and I just took a shower, did my skincare, I did everything, I feel so clean. And I just made some dinner, so I'm gonna have some dinner. I just did barbecue chicken in the air fryer, sweet potatoes and broccolini and peas. So I made that. Come here, buddy. Yeah, it's just like being weird right now. I think it's because the fire alarm went off because I was cooking and it was like burning. And now he's all sad. Dash, why are you scared? Why are you scared? Love you. Here's tonight's dinner, very basic. And then I think I'm gonna use some of this blue agave sriracha from Yellowbird, so good. And then for a little drink, I'm gonna have the rest of this Lemon Perfect. I love these. I don't have much, but I'll put a new one. These are so good and so hydrating. I sweat so much in that workout, so I feel like I need all the hydration in the world. Cheers. this brush that I told you guys about a few vlogs ago and it's a blow dryer it's basically like the Dyson dupe but it's nowhere near as good as the Dyson it's good though it does a good job I mean I like how my hair looks but the um what is this called <laughs> the blow dryer attachment is not good but this attachment is good and then I like the brush attachment so it's not bad it's not like the best thing ever it's called the air pro but my blow dryer actually broke and I got this for Christmas and I saw an ad on TikTok about it so I bought it well my mom got it for Christmas and it does like an okay job it's kind of cheap but it gets the job done so I just did that because I have a meeting tomorrow morning at 9 so I kind of wanted like my hair to be like somewhat done and obviously I'm gonna be sleeping tonight on it but at least it's like a little bit done I also realized I never updated you guys after I had my um, hematologist appointment so I got the blood work done and it went well all my numbers came back normal which was good my white blood count is still super low it's 3.6 the last time I got it tested it was 3.4 and I think the normal is like 4 to 10 so it's still low but my doctor is not concerned because she thinks I just like normally run low so that was good I forgot to update you guys but we just monitor it I'm gonna go back every six months so I think at this point I'm gonna go back in June like right before the wedding and then I'll do once a year just to kind of like monitor it get the blood work but she's not concerned which is good so I am just watching TV and cleaning up around the house so I'll see you guys in the morning which will be Thursday <laughs> Good morning. 
morning guys happy thursday i got up about an hour and a half ago i just got ready for the day i have a meeting at 9 a.m and it's 8 15 right now so did my makeup my hair and just threw on some clothes and i made my little coffee and right now i'm just doing my five minute journal and just preparing for this meeting so I'm also listening to a podcast, by the way. But I think I'm going to end off the vlog here and start a new one. I originally planned to do like a whole week in my life, but I upload on Friday and today's Thursday. So I want to make sure I have enough time to edit and get this video up by Friday. So I'll start a new vlog. I'll start a weekend vlog. This weekend's going to be really fun. Matthew and I are going to our wedding venue on Saturday to do like a walkthrough and meet with the people that own it and just kind of like get ready and get prepared and we still have seven months away but they're doing an open house so i thought this was a good opportunity to go because we want to try to like discuss like the layout of things and there's just certain things that i'm waiting on and we need to go there to talk to them and like figure out the layout before i can proceed with like some vendors and stuff so i'm really excited i'm gonna vlog that for sure and my also my dad has never seen the venue so that's another reason why we decided to go so early like obviously we'll have walkthroughs and like final meetings like prior to the wedding when we get closer in the summer but my dad's never seen it and neither is matthew's dad so i think they're both going to come too so that's going to be exciting so i'm going to vlog that on saturday and then matthew has a gig friday so i just feel like this weekend's going to be like fun and eventful so i'm going to start a new one then tonight i'm going sushi with my sister my cousin and my friend and we're going to talk all about the bachelorette so new vlog is coming it's going to be a fun one so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any content i also need some lotion on and thank you for watching this video let me know if you guys like the weekly vlogs i like to show you a few different days because sometimes like the day in the life just aren't long enough and i know you guys like longer videos but i love just like vlogging not only the weekends but also during the week so you can just see like a realistic day in my life and like week in my life while i'm like working and brand stuff and all of that so hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye